You may have noticed that with a recent Windows update, we have this little menu with news and weather. A lot of people, me included, don't even want this. So how do we turn it off? The most simple and less invasive way to remove this is to go down to the taskbar, right click it, go to news and interest and just click and check this turn off and then you will get rid of it from here. Now there is another thing you should definitely do so that your system doesn't lay resources on getting data for your news uh, since you don't want to use it. So you want to go to search and find Windows Firewall. So you will search up Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. You'll need it with advanced security and launch it. Inside here we can turn on and off some rules. You will go to outbound rules. In this one you will go with a new rule, a program, next, and a program path. This is pasted in to the uh, description of this video. But it's uh, basically see Windows System Apps Microsoft Search uh, and Search App. Now doing this will disable Internet's access for Windows Search entirely. But in order to block the news to get more news for you using your Internet, you'll have to disable uh, the Internet access with Search. But if you don't use Windows Search to find things on the Internet, but like most people just use the browser, there is absolutely no problem with turning this off. And if this gives you problems in some weird way, you can of course turn it off again. Anyways, we paste in the program path there and we click Next. And then we're going to select Block the connection and we click Next. Check all these and click next. Block news. And finish. And now we know what it is. Fantastic. And now when you go to the news app, you can try and update it and it won't find any new news for you. So, well, that's super nice. And now this shouldn't be able to get any new news data for you. The weather app, however, is uh, separate and uh, I haven't found a way to block this yet. Uh, but I will keep you updated when I do. But now, of course, we go in here again and turn it off and that will be uh, as good as it can get for now. You may have noticed I've completely removed Cortana as well. Like we don't even find it when we search Cortana. Uh, and if you want to know how to do that, you can check my video because I successfully found a PowerShell command to completely disable Cortana or remove it actually from the system. Re actually remove it. But uh, as for this uh, weather and use, uh, there is a PowerShell script, but it's not working as for now. So I will update you when I found a more decent PowerShell script to uh, remove it. But as for now, uh, blocking it via firewall and then removing it like this is the way to go. So hope it helped you and if it did, please leave a like. And well, can we get 100 likes on this video? That would be amazing. And if it was amazing, you should subscribe today, now. Anyways, this is your host, Jim Desm, signing out.